Now this is going to be a little bit different type of a video. In the last month, after getting a lot of YouTube recommendations about indie game development, I finally tried out coding in Unity. For those that don't know, Unity is a all-in-one game engine for both 2D and 3D games. It's super powerful and free to use as an individual. It's funny, up until now, game development was one of the few areas in computer science that I never really felt the urge to look into more. I've always been a big gamer, but going behind the games into actual video game development and design, I never never really was interested in. Until now, and let me tell you, I've actually been no-lifing this pretty hard. I still work full-time and do other stuff, but this has been my primary hobby these past several weeks, and it's actually been really, really fun. I can throw up my git commit history sort of graph here, and you can kind of see when I started looking into Unity. Now, I don't use git a ton. Some of my repos previously, I never really used version control, so I usually just commit a lot of things. I know people want to see like commits across the entire year but you know I don't I don't typically do that but you can see definitely within this past month I've been you know using source control specifically for my unity project an absolute ton I've also recently partnered with brilliant but more on that later one of the main purposes for making this video is not to only show off kind of what I've done so far but also highlight that again that there are so many different areas in computer science and software engineering so if you don't love one you may love another and I've mentioned that in previous videos about you know software engineering side projects and things like that but it might just take some exploration to find what genuinely interests you and sometimes it might be something you never thought you'd actually want to do until you actually try it like I said before I never really had the interest to try out any game development and throughout college and after I had touched a decent amount of areas in computer science with side projects like web development app development different types of machine learning and data science and then I finally tried out video game development and honestly out of all of those side projects sort of areas this has been the most fun I think then once I tried unity and coding different game functionalities in C-sharp, I realized that I was actually having a lot of fun, where I would lose track of time. I'd start at like 8 p.m. and then look and realize I had been coding in Unity for the last four hours straight. Now, I don't necessarily recommend that, but you know, if you're having fun, you know. So again, broad lesson to take from this is that I think it's important to try out a lot of different areas in computer science and programming to see what you actually click with. Now for the actual progress. When I first jumped into Unity, there was definitely a steep learning curve as I had never done any game development before, but fortunately I knew C Sharp, which definitely helped. To initially get going, I just watched and followed along with a ton of YouTube tutorials. You can check out some of those channels I used in the description below. And since Unity is such a widely used game engine, there are a ton of forum posts about most things I want to implement. Besides the learning curve of Unity, the art aspect of video game development definitely proved to be a struggle. Now let me tell you, I am not a very very good artist. I tried creating some sprites in Asprite, which is a 2D pixel art maker, but still I didn't do very good. Therefore, I just bought art assets from artists on itch.io to use in my game, as I don't really have fun doing that sort of art part of it. I like designing like the maps and the levels and things like that, but actually designing those art assets I don't really enjoy. And rather, most of the fun I've had has been actually creating the functionality of the game. And since this is a side project, I'm really only going to focus on the parts I actually find fun. Maybe down the road, if I want, I could switch out the sprites for ones that I've made, but that's for something down the line. Now, getting to the actual game itself. For the style, I decided to go with a retro 2D top-down art style. As something about this genre and just general style, I guess, I think just looks really good and nostalgic. Think games like Terraria or Stardew Valley. Yeah, I know Terraria is not top-down, but, you know, kind of in the same style. Additionally, when starting out, I thought making a 2D game was much simpler than, you know, diving into making a 3D game right off the bat. I also have this idea of making a BuzzFeed type quiz at the beginning that will determine which type of character you are, with every character having unique abilities and passives. Then the player has the next 24 hours of in-game time to get more powerful, develop allies, alliances, create strongholds, and then when the 24 hours are up, all of the characters that you didn't get from that 
initial quiz will be attempting to conquer the world. And I think this pattern gives a lot of replayability options and tries to integrate more modern styles of games like Battle Royale or Time Systems in a retro style. For anyone who's played games like They Are Billions, it's sort of along that sort of genre where you have a limited amount of time before your inevitable enemies come and you have to sort of prepare yourself, but instead of being a more RTS style game, this is more of an RPG style game. Since I'm new to Unity and general game development as a whole, the process has been somewhat slow, but honestly has been very rewarding and just generally fun. I know this was a different type of video from the usual computer science or software engineering advice videos, but if you liked hearing about my progress on it, I can release future devlogs in the future, so just let me know in the comments. And if you want to start getting into video game development, I highly suggest checking out Brilliant. The main point of Brilliant compared to some other learning techniques is that you learn interactively, which has been shown to help you learn six times more effectively than just watching lecture videos. There are over 60 courses in math, science, and computer science, and one thing that's super helpful is that every problem comes with a step-by-step -step solution. I've recently started the logic course on Brilliant that not only goes through fun introductory logic questions, but also the fundamentals of how a computer would learn how to play chess. This specifically will come in handy when I had to design the AI opponents in my game, as I'll have to think about how each opponent will respond to a variety of player actions. They have a ton of other courses like Algorithm Fundamentals and even Introduction to Neural Networks for all of my future software engineers out there, or current software engineers. Check out my affiliate link in the description below and you can get started for free You'll also get 20% off a year of Brilliant Premium, and you'll also be supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you liked this sort of development log, of dev log of the game that I'm working on. Now, I can't promise that I'm gonna finish the whole game in this amount of time. It's mostly just like a fun side project, you know? But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you'd wanna see more of that or more of something else. Check out Brilliant again with my affiliate link in the description below. My name is Michael, we make computer science, college advice, career advice, tech videos on this channel. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. Like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. We always do Bob British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos, my past self would thank you dearly, and check out one of my future videos. My future self would also thank you dearly. That's all from me. Hopefully, I see you in another one. Bye-bye.